Stephen Dean speaking uh, and today I just want to talk about A Course in Miracles lesson uh, 29 um, God is in everything I see now it's pretty self explanatory the first part anyway the idea for today explains why you can see all purpose in everything it explains why nothing is separate by itself or in itself and it explains why nothing you see means anything in fact it explains every idea we've used thus far and all subsequent ones as well. Today's idea is the whole basis for vision. Now the idea actually, there's a lot more to read out here but I'm not going to read it all out. I'm just going to uh, switch to the bottom part of it where it just asks you to look all around you and say things like God is in this coat hanger, God is in this magazine, God is in this finger, God is in this lamp, in this body, God is in that door and God is in that waste basket. It says in addition to the assigned practice periods, repeat the idea of at least twice an hour, or no, once an hour, looking slowly about you as you say the words unhurriedly to yourself at least once or twice, you should experience a sense of restfulness as you do this, and those words are God is in everything I see. Now obviously the idea is to get people, the student, used to the idea that everything is oneness. You see, in his existence, we have learned to hang labels on everything. Uh, this is a leaf on a plant, and this is a bush, and that's a tree, and so and so on. But it's all separating things. You know, this chair and that uh, leaf are separate. But they're not really. They're God. That leaf is God, and that chair is God. The fence is God. The tree up there is God. The house is God. You think, how can that be God? Well, everything is made out of God. In the same way, like, when you're dreaming at night, every scenario, every single thing in that dream is made out of you. And everybody in it you meet and everybody you talk to, the conversations you've made up in your mind, and the people you meet, you've made all them up. Even if they're people you know, they're appearing in your mind, but they're not doing things that they do, as a rule anyway, <laughs> they do in life. They do things as they do in dreams. And it's just as we're actually doing. We're doing things as, as is done in dreams, except that we think it's real. As I've said countless times now, it's real in the sense that it's made out of God, but that makes everything God. It's only us that separate into named objects. If we think of everything as God, everything as love, then we're getting somewhere near the truth. In fact, we're arriving at the truth. <laughs> okay, thanks very much, I'll see you again.